Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for bearing with me. I took a couple days off, needed a little bit of a mental health reset, and I traveled back to California for my grandmother's funeral. As you guys know, she passed away at the beginning of February and we were just able to really celebrate her life this past weekend. So I feel very grateful that I had the opportunity to do that. In today's video, I wanted to talk about Sister Wives because I'm still catching up on 90 Day Fiance. We have a lot to talk about when it comes to Ben and Mike, but in this video, I wanted to talk about Sister Wives. I wanted to talk about Logan. I wanted to talk about how Logan has really tried to pave his own path and almost go in like the opposite direction of his parents and how he was really parentified when he was a young teen. So yes, in today's video, I want to talk about the parentification of Logan Brown, who is the oldest of all the Brown children. I find it really interesting and I guess it's natural in a way that the older the kids get, the less involved they are with the show. Of course, the kids are getting married, they're growing up, they're moving away. So it is sort of a natural progression, it would seem, but it, there definitely are older children that are more involved than others. I would say Logan is probably one of the least involved with the show anymore. We see McKelty, Mariah, Madison, they pop in from time to time, but Logan, he has really tried to pave his own path and it's really not a shock as to why. So what is parentification? Well, according to Wikipedia, parentification is the process of role reversal whereby a child is obliged to act as a parent to their own parent or sibling. Now, like I said, Logan was the firstborn of the Brown children. He was born May 21st, 1994, according to the Sister Wives fandom website. He is currently 27 years old. Some interesting things for how Logan is doing things differently from his parents and some of his other siblings is even though none of the Brown children have chosen to live polygamy in their adulthood, many of them have married pretty young. Logan, on the other hand, I mean 27 is still very young, but he's been engaged to his fiance for several years and they are enjoying a more private relationship. You look at the fact that Madison was 20 when she got married, McKelty was also 20, and Aspen was 23, him being 27 and having a multi-year engagement is really stepping outside what is typical for any any of the Brown family, really. While Logan isn't significantly older than, say, Aspen, Mariah, or Madison, he was definitely parentified the most, in my opinion, and I think it's due to a couple reasons which we're about to get into. Parentification of children in large families is not uncommon. It's actually pretty common. We saw it happen with the Duggars when Jim, Bob, and Michelle implemented the buddy system. It's The buddy system was if once Michelle was done weaning the baby, it got assigned to one of the older children and the older child kind of raised that kid. It, you know, <laughs> lots of criticisms of the buddy system that are completely, completely valid. We also saw Lydia from Pla the Plath family, Welcome to Plathville. She definitely was like the housekeeper and homemaker in her family. And what was crazy about Lydia is Lydia wasn't even the oldest girl. I mean, Hosanna kind of moved on. We assume that she was Lydia before Lydia was Lydia. But, you know, Mariah was never assigned or entrusted with those responsibilities. So that was a little bit more of an interesting turn there. Two parent Quiverful families, and Quiverful is the term given to these families that leave the amount of children they're going to have up to God and what he bestows upon them. So two parent Quiverful families often rely on the older children to raise the younger one. And it's a criticism that many people have of these massively large families. 
Kids should not have to take on the role of parents. I mean, helping around the house is one thing. Older kids changing a diaper, that's totally fine. But when a child is expected to act as a parent in the way that Logan was, it just goes above and beyond. In the very first episode of Sister Wives, we get a glimpse of Logan's morning routine. Uh, every day, I uh, wake up about a half hour earlier than everyone else. Uh, make breakfast. All right, come on. You got to eat. You got everything, Gabe? We still have one more of these, but at the beginning of the week, we had three. Kind of try to top it off with oatmeal every now and then. Beats buying eggs every couple of days, which I guess we already do, but keeps the egg bill down a little bit. What's mine? I never got really any sleep last night because Gabe was snoring. You see, you slept on, huh? Thank you. Do um, you want breakfast for you? This is pretty much how it goes. Can I just say that I'm so impressed by Logan for not just like making six bowls of cereal. In this clip, he's making full on breakfast. There's breakfast burritos, scrambled eggs. And you know, in this same episode when we're being introduced to the Browns, we see Mary just kind of toss a granola bar at Mariah. So what Logan is accomplishing for the Janelle group of kids is quite, quite impressive, I must say. I think part of the reason why Logan was parentified at such a young age was partly due to Janelle's work schedule. She describes leaving the house around six in the morning and not getting home till seven at night. She also does, in this first episode, go on and on about how much she loves working and outdoor chores and not so much indoor housework. I've always been a career person. I've always worked. I would prefer to be working rather than be home with the kids because in a family this big, one breadwinner is not enough. I love it because I get my children and we do all the really fun things together and I get to be the mom, but I don't have to do the cooking or the, <laughs> the chauffeuring. And you know what? I like working more, so let Christine do that. You know, and Christine likes to do that. I can say, I'm going to a movie. We watch my kids, and they have somebody to watch them. I don't have to do everything. Look, I love Janelle, and anytime I am a little critical of her, I definitely can understand why some people, you know, might not agree with me. But in this instance, I can appreciate that stay-at-home mommy is not her thing. It's definitely not my thing either. Um, but... <laughs> With that being said, she seems a tad extra to me in the way she describes how much she would rather be working than home doing homemaker stuff. It, it just seemed a little tad above and beyond, in my opinion. All of the wives, all of the wives, go on and on about the benefits of plural marriage in the collective raising of children. Let's look back on what Mary had to say when her sister died and her sister wives inherited her children. It's definitely a benefit to this lifestyle to have somebody there and in place if anything were to happen. Well, my sister was in a polygamous relationship. She was the second wife. My sister ended up getting cancer. and She um, ended up passing away 11 months after she found out that she had cancer. My sister already had a mom in place to take care of her kids for her. Um, so that's definitely a benefit to this lifestyle because you know, I know that there would never be any question that you know Janelle and Christine would be there to step up and, and raise my daughter just like I want her At to At the be. point of this clip where we see Logan's morning routine, they were all living in the Lehigh house. Why couldn't Cody just pop upstairs or over or whatever and make those kids their breakfast? And after Cody, I'm looking at Mary and Christine, although I know Christine had her bunch of kids to get ready in the morning. But again, the collective raising of children should not fall on the children when there are three other moms at the time. And Cody, a whole ass dad. We are still going to attribute the majority of the responsibility. If he's home and able to get those kids ready in the morning, he should have been, and he wasn't. I digress. <laughs> what I'm saying is that if Janelle was out of the house, there were plenty of adults in the house that should have stepped up to take care of those kids before Logan had to. And while kids should never be parentified, it should never fall on a child to have to raise their younger siblings. I know that there are 
extenuating circumstances, but in these situations where it's like active parents in the household, it should not fall on the children to act as parents to other children. I guess it is a little bit more understandable in a way in these two parent quiverful households because there's literally only two adults. So if you have 19 kids, let's say, it would make sense that some of those older kids would start acting as parents. Again, I don't agree with it. I don't think that's right. Don't have more kids than you can financially handle or emotionally, physically, mentally raise. My opinion. That's just my opinion. In a plural family, though, with three other adults in the house besides Janelle, it should never have fallen on Logan to parent those children and be responsible for them every weekday morning. It really should have been on Cody. Again, let's bring in the dad here because you know Cody wasn't doing anything homemakery in the other households. And Cody, he's the dad. Also, we get in this early clip the fact that he said he would wake up early just to say goodbye to Janelle. If you're up early to say goodbye to Janelle, can you stay an extra 20 minutes to make some breakfast? I don't know. All I can say is I really hope that these kids write a book one day. Give me, you know, Logan's tell-all. Give me Hunter's tell-all. Give me Garrison's tell-all. Give me, the, like, the girls. Give me their tell-alls. Maybe they'll write it together, like a becoming or escaping sister wives a tell-all. I don't know, but I would totally buy it. It just, it really makes sense why a lot of the brown kids as they get older are starting to pull back and want more private lives. You know, Logan, I think probably is the most distant from the show. Um, he still does appear in Peyton's TikToks. He seems to still retain a close relationship with his mom. Not sure what the relationship like is there with his dad. But it is nice to see that he still is, you know, close with his family. He just really seems to not want anything to do with the show. And I can see why. He had to be a parent at 15 or 16. It completely makes sense now why he would wait to get married, why he's waited to start a family. It just completely makes sense. So you guys, let me know what you think down in the comments. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care, have a good one, much love.